Hey guys, how you doing? I thought I'd talk about this stuff right here, Seacourse fabric. I'm um, going to use it on my 2013 Lexus GS 350 uh, F Sport. Uh, I used this back in 2013. I was actually referred to this by a, I guess one of those professional cleaners. I don't think they use this anymore, but this used to be called Seacourse fabric and leather. So that's why I still use it for my leather. Um, you know, I, I know they make a special formulated Seacourse leather now, but it's really expensive. I, I don't know why they charge so much for that stuff. Um, anyways, I, I bought this knowing that it could be different, but after I tried it for the last, I mean, I think like seven, eight years, it really hasn't done anything bad. I mean, my leather looks great still. Uh, it stays on and it actually feels and smells exactly like the original Seacourse fabric and leather. Anyways, I just thought I'd show you guys real quick my applying it. Um, I don't really have too many people sitting in my back seat, so I kind of was after I cleaned it, I kind of noticed that it's still on there actually. Um, so this stuff is really good quality. Uh, the front seat too as well. Right here, I mean, I can I can feel it. It's it's a little actually no, it's it's gone from the front seat. Uh, that seat for sure, driver's seat is gone. But the back seats, I, I can still feel. It. If you can kind of look where I uh, was wiping with the microcloth, you see that kind of like that white haze where I kind of just scuffed it up. Um, but definitely it's been a year or so it's n it's time to renew it uh, but uh, this stuff it, it works really well uh, usually my dog rides in the back um, sometimes she'll try and scratch the leather uh, I guess they're trying to mark their territory and it'll it'll scuff it up um, and uh, you know it, it keeps the leather protected um, it's like a sacrificial layer I guess when my dog was scratching the leather all I did was just spray uh, all I do is just kind of buff it out uh, with a microfiber cloth and then spray it a little bit more and it was uh, looking new again. Um, so anyways, all I basically do is just take the ball and shake it up and then you just you just spray it on. Uh, let's see here. Oh. Yeah, you just kind of spray it on as you go. And then um, what I do is I, I just spray the whole, the whole car up and then I... Uh, I wait 24 hours, let it dry, and then I take the microfiber cloth and buff it dry um, if I need to. Usually I just kind of just leave it the way it is. Um, it's a little sticky, so sometimes I have to leave it on for 48 hours until it's fully cured. Um, but this stuff stays on for at least a year minimum, and uh, it, it keeps the leather preserved. I mean, it's been seven years. My leather looks brand spanking new. Uh, let's check out the driver's side. You know, if you look at the driver's side, it still looks pretty decent. Um, I don't really drive it that much, but, you know, the leather is still good quality. It's definitely got the folds in the bolster area for me sitting in there. Um, but uh, it, it does a good job protecting it. I mean, I guess it's a little worn right here, but I think that's actually the... Uh, I think that's actually the uh, C-Corps actually just kind of wearing off in that area. Um, but uh, overall, it, it looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep using this stuff. Um, it seems to preserve it really well. Uh, one thing for sure is if you used a cleaner or a moisturizer, you're going to have to try, you're going to have to get it probably professionally removed uh, before you spray this stuff on because I think this doesn't react very well with the uh, moisturizers um, and leather. So definitely if you have a brand new car, start using C-Quartz fabric or leather to uh, preserve it and then just uh, kind of respray it every year and buff it out. All right. Thanks guys. Talk to you later.